Hey, welcome this to this episode of Fresh Word. It's Pastor Al at Calvary Chapel. Hey, this gives us an opportunity to answer questions that come in, and uh, either in conversation or email or on social media. And one of the questions that often comes up is, how do you know that the Bible is real? How do you know that the Bible is real? How can I trust in the Bible? You know, it was written by so many men, so many different times, so long ago. Let me say this. You, you, can, you can take a test to the Bible, like you can anything else, you know. And the Bible has been so accurate when you look at the uh, prophecies that have gone forth. From the beginning, you take the very book of Genesis, and you start seeing God's plan developing. It wasn't developing in God's mind, but it, he was sharing it with mankind after Adam and Eve fell in the garden and fell into sin. So you start seeing the prophecies come up. You start seeing the heart of God as he's demonstrating his word to his people. It's so incredible. And then you begin to look at the history of the Bible and you think, wow, this really does make sense. And in order to fill those prophecies the way they're to be fulfilled and to have them come out as true and accurate, I mean, come on, it's, it's never missed a pitch yet, you know? And it's like every time it comes forth, and so when you talk about the Messiah and you talk about Jesus coming, who the Messiah would be, how he would come, all these prophecies are right there. And it's like incredible. Jesus came and then so too, just as the end of the age, look at it. And, it, and you, know, you look at, does it say what it says or does it, does it mean what it says? And how does it come to pass? That's where you want to, you want to judge things. You get facts out there, you know, what are the facts behind this? And every time God has said something, it's come to pass. That's something I want to believe in. It's not fake news, it's real news. And it's so much news that he, God so loves the world that he wants you to know his plan. If you're saved or unsaved. If you're saved, he wants his family to know, hey, don't worry, I'm coming back again. And he, and he explains what's going to happen in the end of times. So we look today and we look at, wow, things are getting pretty crazy. But that's the way the Bible said they would be. And we look at him and we go, it's just as Jesus has said. So the Christian isn't getting all, you know, stressed out and whacked out about things. They're looking at it going, it's just as he has said. It's pretty incredible. And if you're a non-believer, you're not born again, you're not, you're maybe interested in church or maybe you're just tripping on this webcast, but you're, you're thinking, okay, what, what does that concern me? Well, you can look at the Bible and you can even see that these things that are written can't deny that they're coming to pass. Always have, always will. It's not going to change God. And, and, and again, you know, people might say, well, I'm not going to choose God. <laughs> well, he tells you about that. He said, he'll tell you that. If, you know, he, his desire is that none would perish, but all come to repentance. And so the word of God being so accurate from the beginning to the end has never missed a beat has always proven itself to be accurate, and you can trust in the written word of God to be real. It's a foundation. So when you're looking for something that's going to be valid, look to the Bible. You can trust in the Bible. Listen, he's not. the Lord isn't going to sugarcoat things. He's not going to tickle your ears. He's going to tell you what you need to hear, maybe not what you want to hear. But listen, he knows what's best. Remember that old show, this is dating myself, but Father Knows Best, no doubt our Heavenly Father knows best. So the Word of God is real. And you know what? The author came in person. Jesus came. The Word became flesh. And He dwelt among us for 33 and a half years. And He just spoke that Word into existence. He would reach back in the Old Testament, bring it forward. And there it was. And everything was just as He had said. So that brings us great comfort. Because God can never lie. And even when we fail, God is always remaining faithful. So check it out. If you have any doubt, trust in God, trust in his word. And as the proverb says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understandings. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he'll direct your paths. May God bless you. Have a good day. Hey guys, Pastor Al here, Calvary Chapel with Fresh Word. You know, oftentimes we have a question to ask, but we don't know where to go, what to do. Would I be a fool for asking it, whatever. I wanna encourage you on the comments below, write your question and we will get you an answer, Lord willing. God bless you guys.